Hey everyone, hope you guys are doing well. So today we're going to talk about different options to uh, make your life, I guess, a little bit more plastic free. So I'm not sure if all of you know, but myself and my partner are doing a year plastic free for a documentary called From the Waist Up. So we actually have a blog with all of our rules and our journey, and I'll just post that below in the comment, or uh, not the comment section, but the uh, description section so that you can check that out if you haven't already. So I'm just going to go through some of the products that we use that are staples that are super easy to adapt for you guys at home to go a little bit more plastic free. So let's start by some of the easiest things. Now this is my little, I guess, grocery bag. So this I keep in my purse all the time just because it folds up nice. Now a lot of people have these in their houses, but they always forget them. Just put them in your car, put them in your purse, put them wherever you'll need them. Yeah, I even have some at work, just in case. So basically I like this one because it just snaps together and then it just pulls out into like a, a bag. And these are great especially if you forget something for, for dinner and you're going home. And uh, yeah, you didn't expect to go to grocery shopping, but then there you have it, you've got a grocery bag. Um, also, really important with that, uh, produce bags. So they look like this, these are just some examples, there's so many different kinds, so we've got small ones. Um, white ones. So these ones actually they're well used as you can tell. Um, we got them at the Clean Bin Project, a showing for the Clean Bin Project which is a documentary about a couple in Vancouver living waste free for a year. It was a funny documentary. I really enjoyed it. I would, I'll i send the link or I'll put the link down below um, and if you guys want to check it out that's awesome. Um, so this is another one that we actually made. Um, well I didn't actually make, Matt made them. Um, but it just has like a shoestring and he just sewed them together. So you can use these. You, they also come in like a cotton material which is also really good. Uh, yeah, so these I just stick inside. I'll probably take two and then I'll just fold it up. I don't know if you can see that. And then pin it together. So that way it always stays in there in my purse. Stick it in the trunk of your car. Have one at work. There we go, just like that. Now, um, if Say if you're getting bread or if we're getting, um, I'll get to it in a minute, but like uh, powdered substances or anything from the bulk bins at the grocery store, instead of using those mesh bags because they do have holes in them, I um, usually use either go to the, where the mushrooms are kept or go to the bread section and I'll actually take a paper bag as opposed to the plastic. Just grab a paper bag um, and then you can just recycle them when you get home. Oh, I got something in my eye. <laughs> So yeah, so just take a paper bag, fill out uh, anything you don't want leaking out of that bag, coffee for instance, um, and then just recycle it when you get home. Yeah, so that would be that, and those are really simple things that you can adapt at home. Now, going more in depth, uh, we go to this place called the Soap Dispensary, which is in Vancouver on Main Street. I'll also put the link below. Um, they have a lot of stuff in bulk that's not necessarily food, but things that it's really, really hard to find in bulk. So we actually get to uh, bring our mason jars, as big as we want, as small as we want. We'll actually fill them. So this one is vinegar, as you can see I've written on there. Um, so we actually just got this filled the other day. So this is vinegar, for example. This is dish soap. So they have many different types of dish soap. Um, I think this one's a lavender one. To wash dishes. Um, as well, we get baking soda there. You can get beeswax, charcoal pretty much anything. We get our toothbrushes there, our uh, wooden toothbrushes and everything, so it's great. It's awesome and they're super lovely, uh, wonderful people who own it. They're very informative and uh, yeah, so I really urge you guys to check that one out as well. Another thing too, which would be easy, is also take the mason jars and what we got before, which is a year ago, before the challenge, we bought um, this chalk paint. So we just painted on the uh, on the mason jars on the side or on the top and then or sorry on the top and on the side and then we uh, got uh, what is this called liquid chalk to write on it so all of our spices because we buy them in bulk at the grocery store um, we just refill these and they're all by alphabetical order because I am crazy that's okay. so that's that also tea we buy loose tea just because we prefer them anyways um, but they usually come in these little tin containers where we get them anyways. So what we'll do is we'll actually reuse them so that you can put like little snacks in there, a couple almonds for lunch and stuff. So that's great. Also, 
um, being a dance teacher, you get your own chocolates, which are lovely. So I save my tins, yes, for my chocolate, and uh, use them for sandwiches. You can put two sandwiches in there if you want. Um, so look some lasagna, I've used that in there before. So that's really handy. Also, Christmas tins, everybody's got Christmas tins, and usually you just throw them out, give them away, but keep them. Now, I don't necessarily put this one in my lunch bag because that looks ridiculous going to work, but I'll actually, you know, bake muffins or something and then either put them in the freezer or store them in here on the counter. Um, just because who cares if it's Christmas in my house. Um, yeah. So those are also easy things to do. Now, we make our own toothpaste, deodorant, dish, uh, not dish soap, um, laundry soap and all that kind of stuff. I will be making videos soon. I do have my video for laundry detergent, so you can check that out in, uh, on my channel. Um, but it's really important to have only pretty much three ingredients. You have vinegar, you have baking soda, which I don't have in front of me right now, and then borax. Borax comes in a um, cardboard container, yeah, and it's super cheap. And where, where is it? It's probably here, and we've been using this for an entire year for all of our cleaning supplies and everything. So really good to get those three for all your cleaning supplies. And stay tuned for some videos on that. Now the, I guess one of the last things that I wanted to share with you are this great product. It's called Abigo. So this woman, I guess, I think she lives in Victoria. She has made these kind of sheets. This one's a brand new one. You can reuse them. This one's a big one. And now it's in place of saran wrap. Okay, so we've got lots, but some of them are being in use right now. So these are just the ones we've got clean. Now, Abigo is um, a mixture, well, it's a hemp and cotton material with tree resin, beeswax, and jojoba. I don't know how to say that, oil. <laughs> so that's all this is. And you just use it um, in place of um, saran wrap, or you can wrap your sandwiches instead of using Ziploc bags. And I'll also put the link below to the video or the website on that because they're super great. Um, they're reusable, so all you have to do, so for instance, say this doesn't have a lid on it, all you have to do is heat from your hand, just kind of form this, melt it just a tad bit, or makes it pliable anyway, it doesn't really melt it. Yeah? And we use these on our vegetables as well, so if we cut up a cucumber, put that on there. There. There we go, so it's nice and tight. Just like that. Now, it's really important though when you do reuse them that you wash them in cold water, nothing hot or warm, just cold water with an eco friendly soap, alcohol free. This helps preserve them. Um, yeah, so these ones, this one probably is about seven months old, so you know, it gets a lot of use. We use them all the time and they're still in quite good, good shape. Of course, wrinkled and stuff, but that only happens, right? And this is what they look like brand new. We just got those. So that's super exciting. Um, so I urge you guys to check that as, out as well. Please subscribe. Um, hopefully I'll be putting up some new videos on how to do kind of toothpaste, deodorant, cleaning supplies, etc. And then look into my playlist if you want to know how to make laundry detergent. So good luck to you guys on all of this. And hopefully this was helpful. And if you have any comments, please post below and subscribe. Thanks, guys.